<laughs> you know what the earth is? You know where it's at? It's in the universe. And you know where I'm going today? To universal. Hi guys! So yes, it's true. Today I'm going to Universal Studios, not Islands of Adventure, just Universal Studios. And I'm gonna be eating there for 24 hours. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, desserts, everything. Now, typically when I go to theme parks, I also film myself on the rides, but Universal doesn't let you take GoPros on their rides, at least like not the good ones. <laughs> the ones we care about, girl. So I'm not gonna be going on that many rides, but we're gonna have the best day ever still, okay? We're gonna eat so much, we're gonna walk around, sightsee. We're gonna go to Simpsons Land, Harry Potter World, E.T. Planet, we're doing it all. Also, you might be thinking, Timmy, are you going to Halloween Horror Nights? No. <laughs> and I'm not really sure why I should be going, but when I booked this trip like a month and a half ago, I had just started making theme park videos and I was like, you know, I just kind of want to kind of get into the groove first and like do like the main parks before I do like the events, if that makes sense. But honestly, I should have just gone. I haven't gone in about what, like seven years and it's really scary. Well, at least it used to be. I don't know how it is now. It might be less scary. But anyways, maybe I'll go next month before it like closes. Who knows? I might be feeling spontaneous and spooky. <laughs> so this is editing to me from the future about three weeks later. I <laughs> am in a little bit of distress, okay? I made a lot of mistakes in this video and I feel like I have to explain myself throughout it. So you're gonna have to sit through some of my voiceovers. First mistake, yes, I really should have gone to Halloween Horror Nights and I regret it, okay? I do, don't come for me. Second of all, when I was talking about the GoPros on the rides, what I meant was they won't even allow you to bring on a secure GoPro. When I bring GoPros onto rides, I like strap it onto my hand with this GoPro like hand thingy and it's very secure, but they don't even let you do that. So that's what I was talking about. I am not just taking cameras on rides and like flailing them around. That is not my brand. I am all about safety. So anyways, get ready for some underwhelming moments in this video. Let me just say before we get into all that, I have learned from it. Okay, this whole video was a learning experience. Like I said, it has been about three weeks and I've grown as a person. I'm a whole different person now. But anyways, enough rambling. Let's get going. Oh, first outfit of the day. So I have this little champion shirt. I don't even know what this brand is. Not sponsored. It was in the back of my closet just like I was 10 years ago. And I'm wearing these really cute like camo shorts so I can hide from the paparazzi. I have my gym shoes again because they're comfortable. And I have my little Marvel hat for the girls, you know? Love that. And I have my charm bracelet and my ugly Amazon bag. Listen, someone, <laughs> one of the security guards at Epcot yesterday complimented my bag. She was like, cute bag. And I thought to myself, this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I bought it for necessity from Amazon for $20. It looks like a potato sack, but she liked it. So I took that compliment. And now, honestly, I feel like it's by Gucci. But before we get going, guys, subscribe. I make tons of food content, fast food, hotel food, theme park food. Also, give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. It really helps me out, and it's just the easiest way to support a little on me and my content, because this is my day job, so please. Also, I'm staying at a Disney, wait, did I close my door? I always get paranoid. Oh, I hope he's okay. Anyways, I'm staying at a Disney resort, not a Universal one, so I have to drive myself to Universal which will be fun. I haven't driven in like two days. I miss it. I love driving. Oh, also because of Halloween Horror Nights, Universal Studios closes at 5 p.m. So I'm gonna have a bit of an early dinner, probably around four, but it's fine because I love eating early. Sometimes I will literally eat at like 3 p.m. because first of all, I'm just hungry. And then I tell myself that I can digest the food better before bed. So I'll be daintier in the morning. So that's how I justify it. <laughs> The lens is fogging up because we're in Florida. Humidity. It's like walking through a swamp every day of my life. I'm sick of those. I'm just kidding. I actually love living here because of the theme parks and all that stuff. Why is It's so foggy, but sometimes the heat's a lot. Anyways, if you can see me, I was gonna say that I am so incredibly hungry and I didn't think that I would be because yesterday I ate so much at the Epcot Food Festival. If you haven't seen that, go and check it out after this because this is the newest one okay 
Hold on. Is that better? Much better. I ate so much. I, I think that I taste tested maybe like 12 different items. And I ate most of each one, if not all of some of them. But my system works fast, girl. And it fully digested in one night. So for breakfast, I'm thinking about getting either that massive Simpsons donut, because I've always wanted to try it. It's, it's huge. It looks like a plain donut, let's be honest, but it's just so iconically gorgeous. Or I heard about this crepe place that makes like sweet crepes, salty crepes. So I'm, I'm in between those right now. What do you guys think? Well, you can't tell me now. I'm gonna post this in like two weeks. <laughs> so tell me in the future, what do you think? Okay, girlies, I am in line to pay for parking. Let me get my card out. I'm excited! I'm so hungry. Oh! I have been listening to Olivia Rodrigo's album nonstop during this whole trip, and I'm just obsessed. I feel, I feel so hard because I'm always a mess on our stud. I'm so angsty. Like Ballad of a Homeschooled Girl. <laughs> That's the title of the song. It's me, I was homeschooled up until my senior year and I graduated at home. I mean, I think we probably just went to Denny's or something. I don't, I don't know what we did, I forget. But um, I got my diploma in the mail, so that was nice. Core memory right there, so proud of myself. So I've never been to Universal by myself ever in my life. I've never like driven through here. So I'm curious to see if like the parking situation's complicated. Parking situations always stress me out. If I'm going somewhere new, I'm like, what's the parking gonna be like? Is it gonna be hard to find? I just overthink it, I get anxious, but I'm sure this is fine. This is this is universal, hello. Oh, and um, I am not eating in a city walk, like at all, but I do plan on doing some city walk videos in the future. Like I only ate universal city walk for 24 hours, like things like that. I'm so excited to do those things and I might be making a lot more content like this very soon. You guys literally found out that me and Alejandro are moving to Orlando in my last video, so this tease is very outdated, okay? We're moving, in case you didn't know. Can't talk about it yet, but stay tuned. I'm very excited. Uh, wait, what's the, how much is this? I didn't see. $30. Isn't Disney like 25, I think? Or is it 30? I don't know. $30? Goodness gracious. Hello, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. How are you doing? A good, uh, one, one car. One car. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> are you gonna go to Volcano Bay? Um, Universal Studios. Okay, good choice. Yes, thank you. One car. So your seat's good for the whole day. Okay. If you need any in it, show us that in the seat. Okay. We're going to go to the left of the red umbrella. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> With the left of the red umbrella? Oh, goodness gracious. So I have to get all the way over here. Universal. Okay, sir. Thank you. The red umbrella. Okay. We are in the correct lane now. Guys, I said one car. <laughs> Ballad of a homeschool boy, guys, I can't. I just know that the comments are just gonna be full of one car and then like a little like skull emoji or something like that. I just gnaw at. Oh my gosh, I already sound like one of the Weasleys. Okay, so there is this TikToker that does the most iconic, ugh, these speed bumps, ah, iconic Harry Potter impersonation. Ugh, I don't know what her name is, but she recites the whole chess scene and she's like, when you're free, to check the king. And then Harry's like, no, run, no. And Hermione's like, what is it? And then Harry's like, this is my favorite part. Harry's like, he's gonna sacrifice himself. No, you can't. There must be another way. We're parked. <coughs> Excuse me. Glasses on. Stunning. I'm gonna put the receipts here. As I walked through City Walk, the paparazzi were coming for me. They wanted that paycheck, girl, and I wasn't gonna give it to them, so I hid. Once the paparazzi left me alone, I was able to film a little bit of City Walk. Honestly, what even is Bubba Gum Shrimp? I always thought that it was from like Forrest Gump or something. I'm not even joking. And I always thought this was just like a theme, like attraction. I didn't know there was like an actual restaurant. Does it not confuse anyone else or is it just me? Welcome. 
Thank you. If you haven't been to Universal, basically, you have to walk through City Walk to get to the parks. And it's like an area with like tons of restaurants and shops. It's super cute. Guys, I have to stay at this Hard Rock Hotel, period. I think that would be such a good video. Also, what even is the Chocolate Emporium? Because I have to eat all the chocolate there. So this is their version of the Epcot golf ball. Look, thumbnail. I kind of want to walk in that steam. Or is it mist? Whatever. I want to I wanna walk in it. Can I? Am I loud? I think it's closed off. No. I want to be in the mist. I think that they used to let, let you. Because I remember when I was like a teenager, I was like walking in, in the steam. Anyways, let's go in. There it is. Iconic. And there's Halloween Horror Nights. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about going. Okay, girlies. We're officially in. So... The biggest roller coaster here, I think by far, is the Rip, Rip Rocket, whatever it's called. Big Red Hot Cheeto, whatever. It's huge. And I have done it before. I think I've done it twice. And <clears throat> once again, they don't allow GoPros. So I can't take you guys with me, but I might do it later on my own. <laughs> Scared. It's so scary, but it is so much fun. We got this despicable me right. <laughs> now, first things first, we're gonna find breakfast, period. I'm so hungry. What is this? That bake my day. Oh my god, guys, look! <laughs> look at that drop. Here they go, Ooh, bro. It's literally straight up. That feeling of going up so scary. Oh, it's going slow, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Also, something about Universal is they make you put everything into a locker on most rides, right? And so you like can't have your phone, anything in the line. And I'm here alone. So what am I gonna do in line? Are these fake stores? Is this all just pickable meat themed? My goodness, it must be very popular. Fake evil. This is a little minion restaurant, guys. Look, they have sweets, but I also saw that they had like a pork sandwich and like a pizza, I think. If it's quick service and you don't need like a reservation, maybe we'll eat with the minions later today. Imagine I take a bite of the food, I'm like, <laughs> Simpsons Land is down here, and I think that the crepes also might be down here. So let's just head there. It's giving hairspray. It's giving vintage. It's giving, can I have a soda, Betty Sue, Peggy Mae? Can I have a burger and fries at this local diner? Who is he? Oh, I just read his plaque. It turns out he was the chairman of Universal back in 1913. Oh my goodness, this is ancient. I think they put him there just so they could be like, we have a Walt too, guys. We do. <laughs> okay, look at him. He's from 1913. Okay, I finally got to the Simpson area and I think I'm just gonna go for it and get the massive donut. It really is a dream. So why don't I fulfill that instead of getting a basic crate? By the way, there's a Mexican quick service place here that I saw online. Ooh, and it looks really good, so I might get that. Did I pass the donut? Where's the donut? Is it here? No. No, that wasn't it. That was a hot dog stand. Timmy, can't you tell us the difference between a donut and a hot dog by now? Guys, this is a ride that I can probably go on with my camera. We can do that after breakfast. There's gonna be pink donut everywhere. I found it, guys. It's called Lard Lad Donuts. Okay. Hello, how are you? Uh, can I get the um, big pink? Yeah. And a water too, actually. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, guys, I got the donut. Now, <laughs> I didn't know it was called the big pink. The big pink is such an awkward thing to say. Can I have the big pink? The big pink what, ma'am? Oh my goodness. I also got water, of course. Guys, I make sure to stay hydrated. Okay, this is it. It really is huge. <laughs> but I'm noticing that like the hole is like the same size as a normal donut hole. So that's interesting. You would think it would be a big hole. I took my thumbnail. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good thumbnail, girl. I just realized that I didn't plan this out at all. Promise. It's kind of flat, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> Here's my huge donut, posing. People watch it when you go off. Okay, got it. Let's eat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, the flavor is great. Tastes like a classic donut, but but do you see the dryness? It's like a Sahara donut. I should have gotten napkins. Oh no. It's like eating 
donut flavored dust with delicious icing. So the icing's not strawberry flavor. You think it would be, right? It's not. I'm so hungry. I might eat this whole thing. <laughs> I might. And this was my second mistake of the day. I ate way too much for breakfast. Way too much. And I started the day off with an extremely full belly full of the bird perk. I could. Should I? Maybe I will. Like the flavor is slimy. It's got that classic, delicious fried donut flavor. I'm just really disappointed in the texture. Like, there's no pull to it whatsoever. It just kind of comes apart. Like, look. You know? I wonder how, how long this has been sitting out. Everyone's looking at me, my giant donut. There's nothing to see here. You know what's funny? I'm in such a chill mood today. Yesterday, I was at the Epcot Food Festival, right? And I was so excited for it and like so like hyped up about the rides and everything that it kind of got me like stressed out, but like in a fun way. I was like, I have to do it all, you know what I mean? But today, because I can't go on many rides, I'm eating a dry donut. You know, this is the last day of my trip. I, I just feel very chill and laid back. And this is dripping off. I just noticed. Okay. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Listen. If this was just based on flavor, it would be a 10 out of 10. I'm not joking. For real. I'm almost halfway done with it. I don't want to get too full. Oh, you don't? Well, you are going to. Oh, you're from Milwaukee. I'm sorry. I'm starting to feel it. Because sometimes with these 24-hour videos, I'll eat a super heavy breakfast because I'm super hungry. But then I am kind of full for lunch and I don't enjoy lunch as much. It's the lack of self-awareness for me, girly. Okay, one more bite. Okay, so flavor is a 10 out of 10. Textures, a 1 out of 10. So I'm gonna put those together and give this donut overall a 5 out of 10. If you don't mind a dry donut, you'll enjoy this. If that really bothers you, don't get it. Okay, besties. We're in this Welcome ride. Right. I, my phone's I chose the pink chair to match the big pink donut. Mom theme. Ooh, it has a little thingy that I can make go up and down. Boring right life. <laughs> You want to move. Yes, wow, it's fast, girl. Let's go down now. Now back up. I'm like all the way up. Oh my gosh, I'm like right in the top. Uh, attention humans, please make sure to keep all arms and legs inside your station throughout the entire flight, please. Thank you. <laughs> I had a big rubber gun. Oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me? What is this ride? You're just insulting me. Once again, please make sure to keep all arms and legs inside your spaceship, please. That was not, that was not towards the ankle. I'm minding my business now. My arms are in. Are we done? I'm over it. I'm over it. Okay, so that was fun. Uh, let's go to Diagon Alley. Why not? I'm not going to be eating in Diagon Alley today at all because I am planning on making a whole Wizarding World 24 hour food challenge video. So stay tuned for that in the near future, girly. You know what's amazing there? The butter beer ice cream. Oh my gosh, I haven't had it in years, but it is like some of the best ice cream on this earth. Well, is Harry Potter from earth? Is that like a different planet? I don't know. Is he an alien? All I know is that it's amazing ice cream, but I can't get it today because that's being saved for its own video. We're about to go in. Day 400. Wow. Day two. I'm going to be honest. I have never been the biggest Harry Potter fan, but I've always really liked it. But I'm not like a stan, like an MCU stan. So I don't know all the lingo and all that stuff, you know? There's the dragon. And he blows actual fire, I think, right? Sarkyard. This ride is so much fun. The Gringotts Bank, oh my God. Bellatrix Lestrange is terrifying in it. But of course, we can't go on it together. The house is looking a little bent, a little crooked. Very nice. I don't think I've ever been in this little area. I have never walked back here. I don't know why, but I haven't. Harry Potter Land is so themed. It's ridiculous. Like they went all out, girls. Very nice. Very cute. Um, the wait for the bank ride is only 15 minutes, 
So I'm gonna go on it without you guys, I'm sorry. And I'll see you after. So I'm annoying, I couldn't go on it. <laughs> because you have to put all your stuff into a locker, right? And to use the locker system, you have to have a physical park ticket so that you can scan it to open it up afterwards. Does that make sense? My ticket is only on my phone. It's like a digital ticket, right? So if my phone is in the locker, how am I gonna open up the locker? I think, gay. Hey. Whatever, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask someone if I can like get my ticket printed out or something so that I can go on some rides. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. Whatever. Okay, besties, I'm extremely proud of myself. You guys know I get very nervous to like ask questions that are like out of the ordinary, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just how I am. But I asked this very nice lady and she told me to go to the King's Cross station. Um and they could um help me there. And the guy printed out a ticket. So I asked two people and I didn't really stutter. Like I said like a lot of ums, but I didn't get stuck. So yay. Also, the good thing about coming alone is Universal has a lot of single rider lines. So we love that for me. Oh my God, guys, the bank ride was so much fun, but it wasn't the same without you guys. Like it felt weird not like looking at you. <laughs> that sounds weird, but you know what I mean? Like not like looking at my GoPro and everything. So much fun. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna have lunch. It's only like 11 something, and I'm still having some big pink burps. <laughs> but um, we have to have dinner early, so I'm like, let's have lunch a little early too to balance it out, right? So I wanna find that Mexican quick service place that I was talking about earlier. I'm gonna look on the map and see where it is. Okay, girlies, this is Cafe La Bamba. This is what I was talking about. I have never eaten here. I hope it's really, really good. They got a rice bowl taco salad. I can do a rice bowl. It's a small menu, so it must be quick service. And there it is, guys. I'm crushed. We have to wait nine whole minutes. Oh, what am I gonna do? No, it's totally fine. I'm gonna go to a gift shop and just stand in the AC until then. Oh my God, this is the crepe place that I was trying to find. They have a brisket crepe, guys, and street corn. Vegan berry, strawberry hazelnut. They all sound delicious. But I think that I'm craving a La, uh, Cafe La Bamba bowl. And chips and guac sounds really good right now too. Hi Simpsons. Fun fact, I've never seen an episode of The Simpsons. I've only seen like clips. I should try it out, right? Let me know if it's good. Okay, Cafe La Bamba is opened. Okay, so it is quick service. We have a, a vegan chorizo bowl, lime salt chips and guacamole. Sounds amazing. Carne asada rice bowl, okay. Muchacha cuatro, cuatro leches cake, I love that. Hey guys. So my phone just fell on the floor really hard, face first, so it's probably covered in germs right now. <laughs> Anyways, um, this little quick service place is mobile order only. So I have to scan this QR code on the table and then I have to order and then they're gonna bring it to me. So that's nice. Okay, so these are the options and the prices. Rice bowl, vegan rice bowl, tacos, vegan tacos. Oopsie, no, I don't want that, I want that. Salad and then share bowls, chicken taquitos. Ooh, lime chips and queso, lime chips and guac. Which one do I get? I'm gonna do the lime, salt, chips and guacamole. Eight dollars, okay. And then I'm gonna also get a side of queso for two extra dollars. And I'm gonna get the rice bowl with chicken. No roasted corn salsa. I don't like corn and rice together. Just like the textures to me don't work. Add to order. Check out, $27.98. Okay, it's ordered. I'm excited. I'm hungry. I'm glad I didn't finish that, that big pink. By the way, this like place is totally empty. There's only two other people here, so. Okay, um, so it came within like two minutes. It looks amazing. Chicken. I think that's cheese, rice, beans, good guy, guacamole and sour cream. And then we have guacamole for the chips, which looks so good, and the queso. Oh my goodness. Now I did forget to um, get something to drink, but I'll just get something afterwards. I'm excited. Let's first try a chip and guac. <gasps> There's like legit salt on it. Look at that. Well, let's try by itself first. Oh they're so salty and limey. Mmm. Oh my god. These chips are incredible. Very salty, but incredible. Let's try it with the guac. Focus. Focus, Ariana. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh wow. Sorry. That is fresh guacamole. It tastes so garlicky. And it goes so well with the salty chips. Oh my god. The chips and guac, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 
Let's try it with the queso now. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I'm really enjoying this. The queso is incredible. Perfect queso. Tangy, cheesy, tastes fresh, very smooth, not grainy. I'm looking at you, Chipotle. Is this better lighting here? I think that's better, right? Posture, Timmy, posture. And the queso does taste a little velvety, but that's how I like it. Chips, guacamole, queso, turn on turn bro. Let's try the guac with the queso, why not, right? Oh my God. The freshness with the richness is everything. I have some tea. <laughs> so the only other two people that were eating here with me could not figure out how to order on their phones. And they looked like my age, but maybe they're time travelers from 1902. Then they couldn't figure it out. So they called the waitress over and like they were super nice, but I think that they just left because they just couldn't figure it out. Oh my God. Let's pause for a second and try the bowl, the main event. Okay. Let's kind of mix this up a little bit. The chicken looks extremely seasoned, and when it's all mixed together, it like creates a very big portion. Let's try everything in one bite. Mm. The chicken. Mm. The chicken has so much flavor. Mm. I'm so happy right now. The rice tastes a little packaged, almost like the 90 second rice packets you can buy, you know? But it's fine. The beans have a slight chipotle flavor. I'm not talking about the restaurant, I'm talking about the actual seasoning. Very smoky. The people walk and um, sour cream have such a brightness. I'll think on the rice. Dare I say it's a perfect bowl. I'm really shook by this place. Tastes like something from like a fancy restaurant. Boom. Actually, no, it tastes more like home cooked because it has actual seasoning. It tastes like something Alejandro's mom would make. It's so tender, it's, it's chicken thigh for sure. I'm really impressed. I'm giving the bowl a very strong nine out of 10. I have to take a point off for the rice, but otherwise, fantastic. Out of all the quick service places I've been to in like Disney and everything, I think this might be the best one. The bowl was amazing. The chips were amazing. The casa was amazing. I am so slight. This whole meal was truly fantastic. I finished almost everything besides the casa. They gave me a lot of casa. Very impressive. Another mistake. I ate so much for lunch, guys. As a taste tester and someone that does 24-hour challenges all the time, I know better than to eat until I'm super full because guess what? It's a food vlog and I need to save space for snacks and dinner and dessert. But like I said, I learned from this. It was three weeks ago and I am now Timmy 2.0. Timmy who thinks with his brain, not his three stomachs. What do I do with this? Do I leave it here? Do I take it somewhere? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna figure that out and I'll see you guys very soon. Let's go into this candy factory. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's haunting me. Right when I opened the door, girl. This door had so much candy, it was like Mr. Wonka himself sharded in here, okay? So many options. I didn't get anything because I was very full. So much fudge. Guys, I'm not a big fudge person. Fudge is very heavy, very dense, very rich. It's too much for me. But look at those caramel apples and all these little cupcakes. Okay, guys, now that I'm up and walking, I'm realizing I'm so full, like too full. And I'm worried about the rest of the day. Cause I'm like, I feel like there's a blob of queso in my stomach, which there, there is. But like a massive, like rock of just queso and tortilla chips hardened into a blob. The food was too good. Typically I can hold back and like stop like when I'm like full. But this time I was just so lost in the flavors. I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. Whose house is this? Does someone live here? Maybe it's that guy from 1913. Is he in there? Let's go into this Hello Kitty store. Oh, wait, look at this little queen. Hey girl. <gasps> Oh my god, she got her bow imprinted? Honestly, it looks like giant booty cheeks, but <laughs> good for her. I've never been in here before. So cute. Oh, the AC is amazing. I'm staying here.
King wants to go to Hello Kitty. Another big Hello Kitty. Ooh, I stumbled upon Marvel. Maybe I'll buy something. Ooh. We got Loki. Oh, I love Loki. I used to think that he wasn't a zaddy, but recently I'm like, he's a zaddy. This is cool. If I was an Iron Man stand, I would get this. It's just, it's so metallic and you have the arc reactor. Oh my God. This is from Doctor Strange 2. Look at Wanda and America Chavez. So cool. Like I said before, I used to buy lounge fly backpacks, but they only have like one or two pockets and that just doesn't work for me. So I stopped buying them, but they're really beautiful. Now I have this potato sack from Amazon. I'm gonna be honest guys, I don't really know what to do until dinner. I am trying to think of things that we can do together, you know, to have fun, but there's not much besides the stores. So what do you guys wanna do? <laughs> I don't know, I have like four hours until dinner. Oh my God, look at that cloud. Is it gonna rain? We'll see. Well. This has a 10 minute wait and I'm extremely full. So I'm like, why not just go on? <laughs> Let's see what happens. But I can't go with you guys. So I guess I have to do this alone. Oh, and, and I, have to, I have to take off my glasses. So I won't be able to see. Uh, 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 I despise that. I haven't been on that in years. Listen, no, it's a fun ride. It is. I'm not going to say it's not. It's very scary. What I didn't like was that it's extremely bumpy and it pushes your head forward. And so there was this extreme pressure and pain on my head. Look at those people. They're probably like, oh, so intense. It might be because I have sinus issues. I don't know, but it hurt the whole time. I was just like, Ugh. they filmed me the whole time, right? And I can buy the video on like DVD format, but it's $37. I can't say it. I'm sorry. I just can't spend that much on one one little clip, you know? Oh, I don't think I'm ever doing that right again. And honestly, my like stomach feels fine. So it wasn't that, it was just my head. Oh girl. I literally forgot to put my hat in the locker. <laughs> and I got to the line, I was like, oh, but they just told me to tuck it into my shirt. So I just did that and it was fine. I'm gonna take a little rest, guys. My head hurts. I'm sorry. Just a little one. Let me go to that Universal Studio store. Let's go browse in the AC. I'm not joking when I say this has the best AC on this earth. Oh, it's amazing. There's some more wands here, guys. Have you ever noticed that like Voldemort holds his wand like this? <laughs> He's like, hey girl. <laughs> So years ago, I took a Harry Potter quiz, right? And they told me that I was um, Hufflepuff. <laughs> and like, no one cares about Hufflepuff. They're literally nobodies. Like, they don't even go here. But I took the test when I was probably like 15. So can I like retake it or something? Look guys, a raisin in a sweater. Stunning. So I think next up, I'm gonna go on this Jimmy Fallon ride. You might be thinking, Jimmy Fallon. I know, it's the most random thing ever, but I swear it's a really fun ride. The line is really weird because <laughs> it's just a lot of pictures of Mr. Fallon. And also some, some other random men that I guess work for him. I don't watch a show often. And then I passed by this whole Mount Rushmore of late night people. It, it was very educational, I guess. I don't know. Oh my god, it was so much fun, guys. So if you haven't been on it, basically, it's like a 3D ride, and Jimmy Fallon literally drags you, <laughs> drag her queen, literally drags you across New York, and then you go to the moon, and then you come back. It's very random, but it's so much fun, and the AC is incredible. There's a breeze in your face the whole time. So I think next up, I'm gonna go on the mummy. It is one of my favorite rides ever, and I forgot that it was even here. I, just, I don't know why. It's a roller coaster if you haven't been on it. <laughs> oh my god, I got nervous. Sorry. So I came across these stunning people dancing some gorgeous choreography. It's giving Steven Spielberg's West Side Story. It's giving Ariana DeBose winning the Oscar. It's giving Rachel Zegler as Snow White. Okay, it's scorching now, but guys. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I did the mummy twice in a row because there was literally no line in the single rider line. I was the only person. So I just walked all the way to the front and they were like, single rider. And I was like, that's me. God, Diet Coke tastes so good. And for the first ride, I was sitting next to this dad and I think it was his first time on the ride ever. And he was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it was so sweet. He was like shook it. 
And then the second time I sat next to these three ladies and I think they were on like a girl's trip. They were so nice. Um, and the one next to me was like, you're with us now. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> and she was like, just don't scream in my ear. I'm just kidding. And I was like, <laughs> and the one next to her was like, do you like roller coasters? And I was like, I love roller coasters. And she was like, I hate them. And I was like, well, don't worry. This one's not that bad. It's just kind of spooky, you know? And I was very talkative. I was very, I was a social butterfly. Because of their energy, they just made me so comfortable, right? They were shook during it. They were like, ah! they were screaming. They were shaking, crying. They were on the floor, girl, okay? And then when it finished, I was extra social. And I was like, did you guys like it? <laughs> and she asked that. And they're like, we loved it. It was amazing. So that's my story. Also, guys, there's a part in The Mummy where the whole roof, like, catches on fire. I'm not joking. Like, it's like, it is real fire, okay? And it's super hot. And once, me and Alejandro got stuck in that fire room. And the fire kept going. So we were literally cooking, like, rotisserie chickens. It was very scary. And after about two-ish minutes, we, like, got unstuck. But goodness gracious. Transformers has a 10-minute wait time. And I don't think that I've ever been on it. So let's do it, girlies. Well, just me. That was really cool. It was just like the Jimmy Fallon ride, but instead of Jimmy Fallon, it was a massive robot. Literally, they dragged you through the city. <laughs> but it was really fun, very immersive. I loved it. It also made me feel quite masked, and we always love that feeling. My name is Optimus Prime, Mask Zaddy, Beep Bop Boop. <laughs> I come from the planet Dirt and Football and Barbecue. My name is Optimus Prime, Mask Zaddy, Beep Bop Boop. <laughs> I come from the planet Dirt and Football and Barbecue. I'm almost done with all the life. I have Simpsons and what, Men in Black and that's it? I think that's it. Oh my goodness. The good thing is I haven't had to stand in one line today because I'm a single rider and the single rider lines are always like almost empty. Like the Transformer ride, I went in the single rider once again. No way. I was the only person. Oh wait, there's a Fast and Furious ride too. I guess I'll do that soon. So I have like three left and then I have dinner. I'm still so full, guys. I don't know what to do. What do I do about dinner for real? I don't know. Should I just get like ice cream or something? I'm just trying to think in terms of like, if I was my own viewer, I would see an ice cream dinner as very anticlimactic. <laughs> so let's hope I digest. So this land is called Krusty Land. Oh my gosh. I guess it's like Disneyland with more crust. Guys, why would they use the name of my house? By the way, have you guys noticed that after three days of vacation, I'm not sunburned? That's because I use sunscreen and all people should. Even if you say, I tan well, congratulations. That still doesn't protect you, girl. Still use sunscreen. I think I use like SPF 70. I have a face one and a spray on one. And I just fully coat like a glazed donut. I'm gonna skip Men in Black. I'm just not in the mood for like a score game. I'm, not, I'm always so bad at them. And also score games are like one of the only kinds of rides that are boring if you're by yourself because you have no one to compete with. Okay, I'm gonna do the Simpsons ride. It's, it's another fun 3D one. Universal really does have a lot of like 3D like um, simulation rides, you know? Interesting. 30 minutes though, and there's no single rider. Oh, no. I'll do it. I have time, right? I have to digest. And I get to keep my bag and my phone. So we love that. Thank y'all. We're at the circus. Oh my God. Not to go out. Okay, so I just got out of The Simpsons. So much fun. Another ride where it's 3D and you get dragged around the whole city. <laughs> Oh, Universal loves to drag us around. Once again, as the queen of of social butterflyness, the guy in front of me dropped his sunglasses behind him and they fell onto my feet. And at the end of the ride, I picked them up and I was like, here, sir, you dropped this. <laughs> I actually said he dropped this. And he was like, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, so we only have Fast and Furious left, which I don't think that I've ever done, ever. But I have to say, I have seen two of the Fast and Furious movies, okay? I saw the first one and the last one. I only saw the first one because I was anticipating the last one because I heard that Brie Larson was going to be in it. And she's my queen, right? And so I watched the first one and I was kind of bored, but I, I sat through it. And then I saw the newest one, which was good because Brie was in it. So I do know a little bit about the characters. And no, I'm not going to pretend to know anything about cars or being fast or being furious because that's just not who I am. But I do know about my car. It's electric. It's adorable. That's all I know. You know what we all? We're family. So this line was giving 
you know, car salesman. No, wait, sorry. Car repairman. Okay, this is giving, let me change your oil. Let me fix your wheel. Let me change your windshield wiper fluid so that your window is pristine, queen. That's the vibe. And honestly, I was kind of feeling it. That was a weird one, guys. We were in this like big bus car type of thing, right? With like 3D screens all around us. Of course, another 3D ride. And like, you know how like typically in 3D rides, you'll like see like characters on the screens and all that stuff. This time it was like people in a club dancing like ins, outs, oos, ins, ins. And it was just so bizarre seeing, it was probably 30 people dancing, <laughs> but they were like on a screen. It was just so funny to see and then The Rock came in and Vin Diesel came in and they talked about family. And then there was like a tiny portion where like it was like an actual like race and it felt like you were like racing, but it was very short and all the characters looked like, like video game characters. So it wasn't my favorite, but I'm glad that I did it. I experienced it for the first time. Okay, so it is dinner time. Still full, but let's just try to figure something out. I am here at the Minions restaurant. Let's look inside and see how it is. Oh, I'm embarrassed. So I just walked right into the Minion place and this girl was like, hi, dining in? And I was like, oh, is this like a, like a sit down moment? I actually said moment, <laughs> moment situation type deal. And she was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. I turned right around and I left. Guys, I actually did miss a couple rides. I missed ET. I missed the Minions ride and the Despicable Me ride. But I'm like, whatever about those. I'm actually really tired. And I'm ready to eat dinner. I think it is gonna be ice cream. I'm sorry, guys. I think that's all that I can handle right now. I'm that lunch was so big. I can't get over it. So I'm sorry if I failed this challenge. Either way, we still had an amazing day, and we're ending it with something delicious, right? No, past Timmy. No, this is not okay. You're doing a what I eat in a day, and you're getting ice cream for dinner. There is no excuse. And don't worry, guys. This is never gonna happen again. I promise you. Dinner will always be the most important moment of the video. And I feel like this whole video is a fail, but uh, I just hope you guys still enjoyed it. And I'm just really, really, really sorry about this. And I promise this is the last time this will happen on this channel, in this household, okay? This is dark sided and it is not welcomed here. I found this ice cream parlor that looks really good. I'm really excited about it. So let's go there now. This is it. Wow, very vintage. Ooh. Okay, let's try the cookie dough. Mm. Oh, by the way, this is just Hog and Dawes <laughs> in a fancy looking diner. So, <laughs> cookie dough is iconic. Let's try caramel cone now. It's underneath. I think it has chunks of chocolatey cone. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yarn. Guys, I hope this video wasn't underwhelming. I'm sorry. I just couldn't take you on the rides. I didn't pick the best food options and I just feel like it's not up to my standards. I put too much pressure on myself. I know that you guys love me anyways, right? Oh, <laughs> the caramel cone is my favorite. Mm. I wish I got all caramel cone, girly. I had the best day with you guys. Tomorrow I'm driving home all the way back to Miami, three hours and 10 minutes away. It's been an amazing trip. So the day that you're watching this, I filmed this two weeks ago. <laughs> so you're currently time traveling to the past and you're meeting a multiverse Timmy. That's why I might look a little bit different today. Something's off. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more theme park content, more food content, more hotel content. I'm gonna end this video with a little special clip. Like I always do. I will say bye to you then. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Bye guys. Have a good day.